Hello and welcome to our home here in Brittany in northwest France. If you're here for the first time, welcome! My name is Jane and my husband Michael is behind the camera. We are early retirees in our mid-50s. We are debt and mortgage-free and we share our thrifty, frugal and money-saving lives with everybody. And because it's Friday, it's time for Frugal Food on Friday. Let's take a look at what we've made this week. This week I made a fish pie. Now, if you want to make a fish pie with any type of fish in it, whether it's tinned fish, frozen fish, or fish you've caught yourself, of course, go ahead and make it just the way you like it. This is really one of our struggle meals, one of those meals that we cook when we just need to keep prices down. So let me run through what this cost us. We used, and these are per person prices. The pollock was 32 cents. The potatoes were 15. Parsley was free, I grow it in the garden. Flour was five cents. Butter was 10 cents. Well, it was under that, but for easy maths, I rounded it up. <laughs> the milk was 10 cents, and the green beans per person were 10 cents. The milk was UHT, the fish was frozen, the green beans were frozen. It really keeps our prices down. So there's the breakdown of what it cost me. And now let's have a look at how I made it. First of all, I'm going to run through my fish pie ingredients. It's just for the two of us, it's just a lunch. It's not a big meal, it's just a reasonable sized meal for the two of us. I have one large and two medium potatoes two fillets and these are frozen fillets and this is pollock. I will need about a spoonful of butter. I will need just under half a cup of milk. A good handful of parsley. I'll need a good handful to make this. A dash of salt and pepper and some flour. I use uh, corn flour, corn starch, this is sometimes called, isn't it? Corn flour. It's really good. So, those are my ingredients. Now I thought I'd use this opportunity because I was asked by a viewer a question about portion sizes and cutting down waste and one of the ways that we try and cut down on our waste is by making sure we only cook as much as we need. Now you can see here I've got a small casserole dish and it's about two handfuls and we can see that it will be about two handfuls of food. The pollock is glazed, it will shrink when it is defrosted and I will cut it up and it will fit in the bottom of the bowl. Now I've got rather more potatoes than I need here. I think I'll probably, looking at my portion sizes here and how much potato I'll put on this, even though we do like it to bump up a bit, I think actually, looking at that now, so if I think, well there's that one, and there's that one, but they lose about a third of it. So I'm thinking again about it, so portion sizes probably will need the three. So always think about how much you're going to eat. Will this fill that? How much will lose and shrink when it cooks? How much will I lose when I peel these and cook them? These shrink as well. And try and get your portion sizes right in the first place. So there's a little bit of information there about how we try and work on our portion sizes.
Okay, next I'm going to remove the parsley leaves from the stalks. going to make my parsley sauce. First of all I will melt the butter. I will then add a dessert spoon of flour. I will combine it. I will then add the milk, heat it up until it is smooth and thickened and then add the parsley and continue to stir. there is my pollock, it's all defrosted and I'm now just going to add my parsley sauce and just give it a light stir. And next I will add my mashed potato on top. And there is the fish pie with the mashed potatoes on top see the size of the dish here. We're talking about portion sizes at the beginning, weren't we? This is perfectly enough for two very hungry people. Plenty of mashed potato, the parsley sauce and the pollock. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 200 degrees C for about 20 minutes. And the potatoes will be all crispy on top, the fish will be perfectly cooked and I will serve that up with just a few vegetables. And there is the finished result. Fish pie, so that's pollock in parsley sauce, topped with mashed potatoes and with some steamed green beans. Frugal fish pie. And uh, there's the other one. So, frugal fish pie. Well, thank you to everybody who watched that and we really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. We also love it when you comment and we always reply. So let me know below, what is your favourite fish dish? Do you go fishing? Does somebody in your family go fishing? Do you like to get plenty of fish in for the winter? Do you use tinned fish in your recipes? It's a really good, affordable thing to do. If you look at tinned, if you look at frozen or you're catching it yourself. Just leaves me to say thank you to everybody who watches. We genuinely appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>